Mike Tysons ehrliches Interview, er hat bei Fox News Live gesprochen, hat über den Jake-Paul-Kampf geredet, um seine Ängste auch, über diesen Fight und das gucken wir uns jetzt gemeinsam an. Lasst ein Like da, macht das Abo weg, wenn es euch gefällt und wir starten direkt los in dieses Video, Freunde. <lacht> so, so you're going out, you're going to do it for me. All right, I watched your training video, um, I know you're in super shape, you're going into this fight, You're nearly twice as old as you're twice as old as this guy. Um, is that an advantage for him? Younger, faster? Uh, although you look, you know, you looked like you were on your A game in the video. I, I mean, I don't do you know. feel? Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's faster than me. Okay. Er sagt trotz des Altersunterschieds sagt Mike, dass er nicht glaubt, dass Jake Paul schneller ist als er. Right. How hard are you training? Der Reporter sagt, ja, stimmt. Direkt, er stellt das gar nicht in Frage oder so. Mike sagt nur auch einen Satz und guckt ihn dann so verwundert an, wisst ihr? Crazy. I, I train every day. Trainiert okay. jeden Tag? Hey, I take it serious, listen. Well, listen, it's, it's the whole day. It's the process goes through the whole day. I get up in the morning, do the road work. Then I um, go to the gym at one. Then I go to the strength and conditioning guy. Then it starts all over again. Crazy. Yeah. So Jake Paul is saying he wants to be a world champion. He he says you're the greatest heavyweight champion ever, the baddest man on the planet, and uh, the most dangerous boxer of all time. This this will be the fight of a lifetime. You've had a chance to assess Jake Paul. What do you think of his boxing ability? I think it's you know he's came a long way from YouTube and and listen. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Hmm, okay, Mike sagt hier, dass er Jake schon, als er 16 war, auf YouTube gesehen hat, wie er da irgendwelche Tänze gemacht hat. Das ist aber nicht der Typ, gegen den er heute kämpft, sondern Jake wird dahin kommen und versuchen, Mike weh zu tun. Aber das wird ihm zum Verhängnis werden, sagt er hier. Let's talk about, uh, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe uh, you're going to have 18-ounce gloves, you're going to be wearing headgear. Any no, truth to any of that? No, not true at all. Not true. Not true. No true. Listen, um... Okay, Mike erzählt uns jetzt die genauen Regeln des Kampfes. Kein Kopfschutz wahrscheinlich, hatte schon den Kopf geschüttelt, hören wir rein. This is called an exhibition. Okay, Showkampf. But if you look up exhibition... You will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. You're going in. This okay. Also, keine extra komischen Regeln. Showkampf heißt halt nicht Showkampf, dass es gespielt sein muss, sondern einfach nur nicht ins offizielle Profi-Register beim Boxen eingetragen wird. Und genau das ist hier der Fall. This is a real fight and you're going in to win this fight. Uh, what is bringing you back? What is luring you back in? Is it kind of like the last Rocky movie and, and you got stuff in the basement, you need to get it out? You know, Sh Sean, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird, though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Crazy. Also sagt, dass er jetzt gerade wirklich Todesangst hat in Bezug auf den Kampf gegen Jake Paul. Aber umso näher der Kampf rückt, umso weniger wird seine Angst, weil er dann realisiert, dass das halt die Realität ist. Und in der Realität ist er unschlagbar, sagt er hier. Und genau beim Roy Jones Jr. Kampf, also er äh, kämpft anscheinend mit Ängsten vor Kämpfen. Auch wenn es ein Jake Paul ist. Was wirklich, wirklich sehr interessant ist. I think the people hearing that Mike Tyson is scared to death, um, it's kind of reminiscent of, of the last Rocky movie, right? He goes, I'm scared to death. Champ, aren't you afraid? I'm afraid of nothing. Uh, ja, yeah, well, okay, that, that didn't work out. Did you feel that fear or that maybe it's a sense of failure or potential failure all your career? No, it's, um, it's a sign of victory. 
because and that helped drive you always, through uh, all of those matches, all those absolutely. wins you had. I always, I always believe the adversity. I always believe the adversity or nervousness. It like pretty much catapulted me into success. Hmm. Okay, er sagt, dass dieses Gefühl von Angst, Nervosität ihn immer äh, an sein Ziel gebracht hat. Er will dieses Gefühl haben. <laughs> well, you know, Jim Gray, our mutual friend, uh, actually started our friendship, and, and what a great guy he is. And this is what he says about you. He says, you are the, the nicest ever. guy on earth, nicest guy, one of the nicest people he ever met. And I read something. I, I know I'll talk a little bit about your business. You've gotten into the, the weed edible business, and you actually have... You know, yes. <laughs> you call it Mike's Bites. It's shaped like an ear, obviously referring to a Vander Holyfield in the fight yeah. you had back then. <laughs> er hat einfach so Snacks rausgebracht von Evander Holyfields Ohr, wie er das so abgebissen hat. Und ich muss sagen, mir gefällt Mike's so ruhige Art. Weiß genau, was er sagen will. Er ist äh, extrem kalkuliert, wirkt frisch. Er wirkt nicht wie ein dementer alter Mann, wie, versuchen, äh, wie viele versuchen, ihn darzustellen. So wirkt er auf mich nicht. Yes. Then this is what you said that really interested me. You said <laughs> that it makes you a different person and you want to offer this medicinal help to others looking for emotional and physical relief. This is medicinal for you, correct? Absolutely. And not only myself, but many, many millions and millions and hundreds of million people on the planet. Yeah. You actually said if, if I don't use it, for a week or three days. You're a totally different person. And this is what you said about yourself. You're not a likable person. What, what happens if, if you don't have the medication? I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with my tripolar um, tendencies or something. But I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight. And I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. <laughs> Okay, also Mike wird keine Joints rauchen für diesen Kampf, sondern äh, wird sich voll und ganz darauf fokussieren und das könnte ihn ein bisschen zorniger machen für diesen Fight, das Mindset. Uh, I don't know if irritable and nasty might actually help you in the ring. Um, you know, maybe a pissed off Mike. Let, hm. let me ask you this. So you, you're launching this new line. Is this something you would even, would you take this before the fight, for example? Ob er jetzt vor dem Kampf... Normally I do, but at this particular fight I think I'm gonna go pretty raw and, you know, naked. Yeah, with, with, with that, without all of it. Um, all right, so the fight's coming up, you're training. Um, do you have any yeah. dislike for, for Jake Paul? Like, you, you want to teach him a lesson. I will do just that, but dislike him? No, I don't... I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful. And no, it's not from that perspective. This is from my, my, my point of view of grabbing glory. You know, never for money, only glory. I would never risk my health for money. Okay, also er sagt, er hat nichts gegen Jake Paul, macht das auch nicht wegen des Geldes, sondern nur wegen, der, wegen des Erfolgs. Ne? Wahrscheinlich redet er davon, dass er Netflix ausstrahlt, Millionen Zuschauer, 80.000 Halle füllt, also das ist schon bemerkenswert. 100 Prozent. Ja, und du fühlst dich wirklich, dass du in der besten Form bist. Ich weiß, ich spreche für viele Leute. Sie wollen Mike Tyson gewinnen. Sie wollen Mike Tyson gewinnen. Und mein Gefühl ist, dass du Mike Tyson gewinnen wirst. Und ich denke, dass du das wirst. Das wird eine große Nacht sein. Das ist für sicher. Sure. Ich glaube, du wirst es für die Ägypten. Ich glaube, du wirst es. Ich bin so vorwärts zu es. Ich bin so vorwärts zu es. Crazy. I respect anybody that gets in the ring of the octagon. Great respect. Us. Uh nice interview, Freunde. Nice. Also Mike ist in Stimmung. Mike hat Bock, hat Angst, wird aber Jake Paul eine Lektion erteilen. Was sagt ihr zu dem Ganzen? Schreibt es mir in die Kommentare, lasst ein Like und ein Abo da. Bis zum nächsten Mal hier bei No Time in May.